Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. So we're still on data, but I'm going to wing this one and try to be as quick as I can because I don't think all of this stuff is going to be needed in my personal opinion. So first and foremost, we have data presentations. Many of you guys would have seen things like these on PowerPoints before. These are charts and graphs. This is typically how people present data. We wouldn't give um, all the Excel files to someone and be like, okay, here's the data, look through it yourselves. What we would do is say, okay, for example, on this one here, you can see that roughly half of it is blue. So I would say, okay, 50% of people prefer pizza over macaroni and cheese, as an example, right? We would simply analyze the data and present it in a very easy to understand form rather than giving them all the sets of data we have. Next, we have what's known as trend analysis. We have to know what a trend is first, and then we have to know how to analyze a trend. So a trend is simply what is popular at the moment. What is the thing that's popular at the moment? And I think it's fair to say everyone watching this video has probably heard of cryptocurrency at some point. Everyone here knows someone, a parent, a friend who's either bought some cryptocurrency or is interested in buying some cryptocurrency. So the trend at the moment would be people buying into crypto. So to analyze the trend, we would then say, okay, which cryptos are being bought the most? Um, and I think, again, it's fair to say, uh, probably Ethereum, Bitcoin, as much as it does cost, people don't tend to go for that one because it's a big leap to buy one Bitcoin. Um, if I'm not mistaken, on the date I'm doing this video is the 8th of March, 2022. Bitcoin is probably about 40,000 uh, to one. Uh, whereas Ethereum, I know it's about £2,000 to one Ethereum. So it's literally 25 times cheaper, right? So the trend is that more people are buying Ethereum. So to analyze the trend, we, we can then break that down even further. We can then say, okay, how many people in the UK are buying Ethereum? How many people in America are buying Ethereum? How many people in Africa or Asia or the Caribbean are buying Ethereum? And then even that we can break down further. We can then say how many people are buying from their mobile phones? How many people are buying from the website? How many people are buying from Android or iOS? So trend analysis is simply breaking down what's currently happening. And we can do this as deeply as we want. Because we might say, okay, um, since more most people in the world are buying from a mobile phone, let's make the mobile phone app perfect so that we, we can continue the trend of people buying from mobile phones more. We could also say the website is not very pulling a lot is not pulling a lot of people in so maybe we should focus on the website some more to try and get that up but again the whole point of trend analysis is simply to see what is fashionable again the word trend what is the thing that people are going after let's analyze that and let's try to build more stuff around that obviously that's more than analysis but analysis is simply looking into what is popular at the moment finding out why uh, potentially improving it, potentially making other things similar or improving other things in a similar way. Hence the word analysis. 